Hey everybody, Jay Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym. We're closing in on the road to the IFBB Pittsburgh Pro, and I am here with Pro Men's Physique Competitor, V. Meal Cash. <laughs> wait, wait. This was supposed to be Raymond Edmonds. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, it's a low I mean, blow. <laughs> it's a low blow. I, we're on the wrong day. How did you uh, get here? That's a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get here? Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's Ray, I'm sorry, I guess we have this mixed yeah, up. It, it happens. <laughs> hey, as a, I'll take it as a compliment, though. I'll take it as a compliment, Mr. Olympic. So. Yeah, but you don't look like him. Uh. <laughs> 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 I'm taller. Yeah. <laughs> so technically, they would be bigger. You know what I'm <laughs> I'll take that. Okay. All right. Now, everybody, yes, this is Neil Cash. He was supposed to be here. I actually called him on the phone and said, what are you doing on this day? He's like, well, I don't know. I go, well, your ass is going to be in Pittsburgh, standing in front of the ball, doing the interview, and doing your road to the Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, I didn't really have a choice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah there was no pick, pick your date, no. So, yeah. yeah, that was it. Okay, Pittsburgh Pro, we're back, 2021. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about this? I'm very confident, actually, Jay. I'm, I'm feeling good. You know, like, you know, everybody knows I don't compete a lot. You know, I focus more on the coaching guys. Right. But I worked really hard for this one. I'm, I mean, I'm coming to Pittsburgh for a reason. I'm here to chew bubble gum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, or as I've had, <laughs> I've had a lot of guys tell me, in all seriousness, they say they're here to stop the Ray train. Uh, I mean, it's, it's no it's, disrespect. No, no disrespect. You know, it's my guy. Right. I love Ray. You know, they, everybody does. I love right. Ray. Great dude. He gotta go. <laughs> you know, he, hey, he's my favorite physique. Next to mine. <laughs> it's my favorite physique in the world, man. I love Ray's physique. Favorite physique. Next to mine. But it's time, it's time, you know. It's time. All greatness must come to an end sometime, man. I don't know. Yeah. Golden State Warriors I, lost. Cleveland beat. Yeah, Pittsburgh's <laughs> lost. Steelers have lost. The Penguins have lost. Yes. It's time. It's and time then there's enough, and there's I mean, he's got enough titles. <laughs> he's got the big one, too. So he, he, he'll be all right. Right. <laughs> All right, so knowing how many and who a lot of the players are that are going to be in this Pittsburgh Pro Men's Physique, as we know, there's several Big top ten Olympians yeah, from the, this last Olympia. And you've got also you've got some returners. You've got people that are coming back that hadn't competed for a while. You've got rookie guys coming in here. I mean, we're going to have a pretty good mixture of it's, everything. It's loaded. I know it's loaded. Right. And you can't count anybody out, just like when you look at the Houston Pro a month ago. And you have a, a rookie take second. Yeah. Everyone talks about paying dues. Well, how did he pay dues? Was rookie debut. Yeah, took second. I mean, you look good. Yeah, that that pay dues thing is overrated. If you look right. good, you look good. You know what right. I mean? That dude looks great. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, so you can't, you know, people that say that to me, they're looking for an excuse. Yeah, I mean, everybody always, if, it, if they didn't win, then there's got to be a reason why they didn't win other than they just didn't look as good as that person. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that guy looked great. Ain't no paying dues. It, who looks the best is going to do the best. So that's how right. it is. It is what it is. People can say what they want. I've been doing this for a long time. It's, it don't work. Like that. All right. So the last time you were on stage was what contest? Uh, it was last year. I did the uh, Optimum Classic and the New York Pro. I didn't look good though, just being honest. Like, so, right. So, so that was September, October, uh, yeah. August, September, right? Yeah. yeah summer, right. Summertime. It was summer. The end, the end of summer. Yeah. Right. Summer. Okay. Yeah. Right. And um, so, what have you done? in that time frame. I mean, it's not a full year, obviously, because, you know, everything was pushed uh, back. I, I trained really, really hard. I mean, it ain't no mystery. I mean, everybody knows. I, I trained hard, like really hard. So uh, I took it really serious, man. Like, so I took that one personal. My coach took that one personal or whatever, because I, I just, I, just did, I, I didn't look good. And it just, right. One thing I am is honest. And uh, so I just took, I took it and I rolled with it. Like, so then, you know, the rest of the season went on or whatever. And, you know, I had to coach and a whole bunch of people and stuff. But and then the Olympia happened, and you know, I had like a VIP access at the Olympia. That was the most motivating thing ever, though. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so after the Olympia, I literally, people can say what they want, but I literally didn't take a day off until Dave Lieberman's show a couple weeks ago because I right. had to fill up work. So, like, so now, I, how many months? I didn't, not a single right. day off. I'm not right. exaggerating the whole, like, no days. I'm not trying to be tough. No, I just didn't take a day off. I was too motivated. So I, just, I, I worked. People will see, though. They'll see. I worked hard. Like, you know, if, if you have followed him on Instagram, or if you haven't, uh, I can tell you, one of the things I, I like to bring up is, first of all, being a taller guy, yeah. 
Okay, you know everyone knocks taller guys about their legs. Oh, yeah, I, my legs are... If you have seen <laughs> what he's been doing... I train my legs hard. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah. he's doing yeah. weights and things that you see bodybuilders doing, yeah, basically. So I, I mean, I, 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 I truly have never seen you do legs as hard as you've ever done them. Yeah, so and I've known you a long time, let's be so honest. I've taken, I, you know, I, at the end of the day, I'm a bodybuilder at heart. I just don't have a bodybuilder's physique, you know what I mean? Like, so I take my training to the, to very serious to the max, man. Like, so not just legs, to everybody for right. whatever. Like, so I, I'm willing to, like, what's one thing I'll do? I'll talk trash when it comes to training because I'm willing to put my training, any open dude, in any, I don't care. Right. I'm a monster when it comes to training. Right. Monster. <laughs> you know, I'm a yeah. monster when it comes to training. 800 pounds, whatever you get, it, it is what it is, you know, so. Training I take very seriously, and I worked hard this time. It's gonna show though. Yeah. You'll see, I mean, no, I, what's funny is I got, I, I ain't got nothing. I, nobody's expecting anything. Right. Nothing. You really have no pressure on you. <laughs> none, none. Just wait. Right. <laughs> you know I mean, like so. So, like, like I said, I've seen what he's been doing and his leg training and stuff. But do you think you can hang with one of the pro wellness women doing legs? No. <laughs> you gotta finish the question. I say, uh, no. So I said open bar. I, I, hey, you want it, girl? Because then we're talking about glutes and stuff, man. Like, so I ain't hip thrusting, nothing. I got clients that I'm like, these girls can hip thrust. I'm like, no. But I can't. I, I, no, I'm not putting that on my waist. Like, <laughs> like, there's no way. So I'm not even going to sit here and act like those so girls. Listen. No. I'll take on any open men's bodybuilder in training long before I'll take one this girl I'm training some glutes or something, dude. No way. So when I was filming I Dr. Me before that. Dr. Sonny Andrews on that leg press right back there. Yeah. Okay, that, that AFS leg press. She had on there 845s and 235s <laughs> for reps. That's crazy. I, I know. For I got, reps. I got girls, I got these wellness girls that can do that too, man. I'm like, dude, it's unbelievable. I'm like, you're a monster. These girls, hey. are, these girls are the real deal. So like, hey, I'm not going to say Do you think here. you could have done more than one rep with that? Oh, I mean, no. I, like, no, 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 I would have did it, but I'm, these girls are impressive. Yes. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> like, they are ridiculous. And I mean, they're I, I love the, we have the hammer strength abductor machines, and they're like, where's more weight? They, like, they've already got like 545s on the back, they right? They are and monsters. They're just like, whoop, 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 like they're nothing. Mo they're monsters. I mean, quads, glutes. You and and I'm talking, it doesn't matter where, whether you have a Giselle, as yeah, yeah. tall as you, tall. you. Oh, or you've got a quiet. Devin Cambry who's five foot, They're, and everyone in between They're, are using that type of weight. They're next level. Those girls, I, I'm, I'm counting down to that too. I, get, I can't wait to see what. <laughs> 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 like, they, they're impressive, man. That's it's quickly becoming my favorite division. Just being honest. What do you mean quickly? I think it already is. I mean, it probably <laughs> is. I mean, I can't say that out loud, but yeah, it probably is. <laughs> like you know, it's it's impressive. So, are you training any wellness competitors? Yet? Oh, of course. I got some. Oh, I got some killers in wellness. Uh, I've got several wellness overalls already, and I got quite a few getting ready for national shows this year. Oh, so, great, great. So, uh, one in particular is really good. You know what I mean? Like, so we'll see. I'm, I'm very excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. Very excited. I love the division. It's, yeah. I love it. <laughs> so. So, for your train, you train mostly just wellness and bikini. Do you do figure so, or anybody else? So. Or? Everybody knows that primarily I got, you know, bikini. It, bikini's my niche or whatever in wellness. But, you know, I got a couple of Miss Z guys are actually pretty good that okay. are coming up. Um, yeah, I got a couple, maybe sprinkle a figure here and there or whatever. But even bikini and wellness is usually my go-to. I got right. a, a couple of Miss Z, but bikini and wellness are my main, I mean, you're a coach, you can coach at any, any division right. or whatever. I got classic guys, but bikini and wellness are my, you know, that's my bread and butter. Right. That's just, I just, it's my niche, you know. Right. So I'm really, ex I'm really excited about it at the national stage this year. I got some girls that are going to do really well. So. Okay. We can't do though. I might, my team. One thing I'm proud of, I, like I, like I like one, well, another reason I train the way I do is I have to lead by example. I, I like to lead my team by example, um, because I, it, you know, I don't mess around. So ain't no, no weak right. stuff. <laughs> I would normally be cussing right now, but I ain't gonna do it on NBC News. But yeah, with no weakness. <laughs> now, now, one of the things that Cash and I like to do is we like to handicap shows, contests, mm -hmm. right? And I have to say, I think we were gold at the Olympia for oh. every, almost every division. Called it. Although, to I, 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 I will say, I will say. I mean, we did. I, I said we was going. Well, no, we said the top two. Yeah, we, we, we did the top two. We did say the top come down two. to the Olympia champions, yep. Brandon and, and Randy. Yep. Yeah, I mean, but I trumped everybody in one division. Bikini. 
<laughs> but every, I, every I, you know, I'm like, you know, I, I'm not afraid. I'll, I'll be honest. Every, you did, you did. You said you called it a month, a month out. You said, and I said, no way. I said, there's no way. Now, hey, so Jay, did everybody she, else. Yeah, she brought it though. She did. So did everybody. I, else. I, I, I remember. I, I remember the uh, the conversation vividly. I said, Dory. I was like, oh, Dory, and Tilla, and then uh, I was like, yeah, Jen will be somewhere in the mix or whatever, like third, fourth, like normal. And right. She walked out. It was game over, though. Yeah, she looked great. You know, so she did. Shocked me. Hey, she was, hey, credit where credit is due. <laughs> you did. You called that a long time ago. Yeah. That's the that, one that we disagreed on. That's the, like, yeah. we, that's like the only division we disagreed on, actually. Nobody agreed with me. Not one person. I can't count Debbie because she was with hey, me. Man. But, I mean, everybody. Talk I, about paid dude. Like, that's well deserved. I mean, right. that's called grinding for years until you get what you want. You know? Right. So. You know. But yeah, we, we do have a lot of fun doing that, and we're pretty similar in our thoughts. Oh, we're usually right on. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah, right, right. yeah. Now, me and your son are not. We always argue. <laughs> 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 we never have the same opinion. <laughs> but me and you are usually pretty spot on with each other. Right. But yeah. All right. So before we came out here, so I'm not going to ask you about the Pittsburgh Pro men's physique, but you already made a prediction for the Pittsburgh. Pro figure. I did. Let's put it out there. Uh, I think that Heather D's is going to come back and win this show. Okay. I got a prediction for wellness, too. <laughs> Let's go with it. <laughs> like, I mean, hey, man, it's good. that trophy's going to Puerto Rico, man. <laughs> like, I've, never, I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, that girl looks phenomenal. Even with the amount of Brazilian competitors. It is. Have. Don't get me wrong. Like, I know it's a, that I, I, I'm impressed with all of these women. I've, I've been watching that vividly. Every time you post one on NBC News, I'm like, oh, let me watch this. Let me, let me, let me watch this. Let me see who this is. Damn, this girl looks amazing. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. God, her legs are huge. God, her waist is small. But even still, my eyes just keep going back to your region, man. It's, it's ridiculous. It, like, from head to toe. I mean, it's yeah. hot. She's polished. It's, she's good. But Heather D's, Yurishna. Now, TV, we, I don't know. I don't we know. We're going to have a new champion this year because Priscilla can't come over. So I don't know who all is in it. Mm. I mean, I know you got you got Dan Miller in there. Ashley, there's going to be a Ashley, rematch got, between those get, two. Yeah, Ashley. Uh, if, how, is Ashlyn doing it? I am not sure. I'm after so they weren't sure after um, uh, Wasatch. Wasatch, but you might have those if, three again. If it's those three again, I think. I mean, they, uh, let me see. Dan Miller got one. Ashley got one. I'm going to Ashlyn. <laughs> like if Ashlyn does it, that's what I'm going. She's right there. I mean, that girl's got second so many times. It, she's like one pointer. I mean, like so many times. I think she's due. Right. And what better place than to get a, the big one? You know what I mean? Like right. out of all of you, second, 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 and then you win the like, what, third, fourth most prestigious show in the world. Right. That's. I mean, I can just see that happening. Right. So that that would be my pick. If she does it. That's my that's my pick. In okay. Okay. Now now if Callista was in it, I'd pick Callista. <laughs> You're just saying that because you train her. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but, Listen, it's a uh, shame. It's a shame uh, she isn't in it. You know why? Why is that? Because she'd be get on my nerves no. all again. <laughs> you know how you know how big that stage is, right? Uh, the Pittsburgh stage. So, so she can trip. No, <laughs> she can ride her lineup car off. Uh, <laughs> she'd have enough room. She'd probably fall or something. You hear me cussing? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> man. We love you, Calista. Oh my God, man. <laughs> don't let the don't let the JM photography fool you. She's goofy. <laughs> <laughs> it drives me nuts. <laughs> oh no, she's awesome, man. Yeah, she's good. She's a good competitor. Man. Yeah. All right. So uh, do you have plans for anything else or are you waiting to see what happens with Pittsburgh? Um, I got uh, Pittsburgh Pro and I'm going back to Optimum too. I want okay. like, that's my redemption show. I'm not doing New York Pro, whatever I know. Like, why wouldn't you do that in the middle? Uh, because I'm, I'm work. I got, I'm a coach first, so you know what I mean? Like, okay. so I got Pro Girls doing that show, New York Pro, so I'll be focused on them. I'll be there focused on, on some of my pro bikini competitors. Right. So I'll be at New York Pro for that. But I'm going Optimum Classic, Superman show, that show was awesome too. So I'm going back to that after this. Right. Right. Handle, business, handle business here first, and then right. I'm going to Optimum. You know. Okay. Winter, right, winter is coming, in the words of Big Ron. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of winter is coming, uh, listen, I was a newbie to this during the pandemic. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I got completely, I was the only one in my family that had never watched GOT, a.k.a. Game of Thrones. 
Tyler was telling me about it for years. Cassie uh, telling me, Debbie. And I'm like, oh, no, I, I don't have time. Well, once the pandemic hit, I had the time. <laughs> now, and I told him about it. You, now you're in, you've right? Been, you've been trying to get me to watch that thing. You and Alex Ross been trying to get me to watch that thing for a year now. It's been over a year now, whatever. And I finally started, and now I'm hooked. Oh, I shouldn't have watched it, man. Now I've already, I've already been two seasons. <laughs> I, I, I told everybody that Cassie said to me, get through the first five episodes of season one. He said that more or less sets everything up. By, by episode six, if you're not in, then you're out. But once it's episode, you're, you're hook, the, line, and sinker. Let's be honest. last episode of season one, I'm like, I'll take you. Like, man, they cut his head off. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad. I'm like, oh, I'm sold now. I was so mad. I'm like, what, what type of series is this? There's no rules. Like, you can't get rid of the main character at the end of the first season. Listen, I'm, <laughs> in, my, I'm in my game room at night with the lights off. Oh, I, remember you text, I remember you texted me like in the middle I, of the night. I'm on like, my fifth episode right I'm now. Like, Jacob, it's like 3 in the morning. Why are you watching Game of Thrones? Like, you're like, I'm, I'm hooked. <laughs> <laughs> During the pandemic. I had to force myself to go to bed. <laughs> During the pandemic, we could go nowhere. So right. I mean, like, <laughs> but yeah, I, I see why. Though. It's good. It is good. I hate to admit. I hate it, to admit. But being that we're both latecomers, I was shocked when they said last week it was the 10-year anniversary of the first episode. Damn, has the show been out for 10 years? Yeah, but it doesn't look like it, right? I mean, no, I, mean, I, mean it's, uh, I mean, it's I mean, it's medieval right. times. Right? <laughs> it ain't really gonna get outdated, but, but yeah, it's it's good. So yeah. if you haven't watched it, don't watch it. Don't trust me because you go spend a lot of time in front of the TV, which is not good. <laughs> so, so it's good cardio material too. No, I, I, I do. I definitely watch it on the right. Yeah, so. All right. So now that we've got that out, do you want to give a shout out to anybody? While you're standing here? Um, no. <laughs> no. No, I mean, of course, my big brother, man, Andy Bartolovich, you know. I mean, little trainer. brother. Yeah, big little brother, little guy. I, I mean. He's somewhere in That dude's done so much for me, man. Uh, it's too much to even, you, I can't to even fathom, man. Like, so I wouldn't be here without him, you know, by any means. Without people like him, Ricky, you, you know, Dr. Gary Udit, Tyler. You know, all you guys done so much for me over these years. Changed my life, really. I mean, like, look, I live a dream life right now because of you right. guys. So, you know what I mean? Like, this is the dream. So, uh, I owe a lot to you guys. And then, of course, everybody at home right. and stuff. All, you know, friends, family, all my clients and stuff. Oh, I'm not naming all y'all, Right. <laughs> but y'all know who you, you are. Know, you know who you are. You know who you are. Rico, you know, <laughs> Rico, you know, Rico be hooking you up with the NPC where, yeah, 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 y'all get y'all something for Rico when you see him at the booth because <laughs> he's waving right now. But yeah, everybody, man. I mean, like, so you guys definitely have gave me this platform, and I mean, I, I don't know what I'd be doing if it wasn't for this, you know, so. Yeah. Now, we could sit here and talk sports, too, football and everything else, but we're not, we hey, don't have that much time. Don't get, don't yeah, get, we don't have don't get us time. going, man. Don't get us going. <laughs> don't get us going. We get to arguing. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So, right. I mean, everybody, just, I just want to thank everybody, you know? Yeah. So. All right. Well, listen, everybody, April 30th is closing fast. Soldiers and Sabres. And Pro Men's Physique goes on at 5. They're the very first ones. Open the show, and of course, McKinney closes the show. Right. <laughs> With wellness in the middle. I can't wait. I'll be, I'll be hurry up. Hey, man, get this glaze off of me. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get out of here so I can watch this. All right. But, yeah. So, J.M. Mannion. Neil Cash. Signing out for NPCNewsOnline.com, and we will see you at the Pittsburgh Pro. One week, baby. <laughs> Great.